Yo, what it is guys, Leon Mookie here, and today I'm giving you a new What If series to start the year off good. This is What If Asta Was the Reincarnation of Noctis. This is part one, and to be honest, I always kind of like thought, uh, why not have Noct have the powers of Noctis in the world of Black Clover? I mean, it wouldn't be too far off. I mean, the only difference is that magic is kind of like replaced with magic tech and all that. But other than that, I think the powers of the king would be awesome in the world of Black Clover. And to be honest, Asta with the royal arms coated in Libe's anti-magic power. I mean, come on, you guys just, just imagine it. How powerful Asta would be with the power of the kings and also the royal arms as well. So yeah, so with all that said, Let's get straight into this, shall we guys? Noctis Lucius Calum, uh, the last king of the kingdom of Lucis, was finally able to defeat his greatest foe and enemy, that being Arden Lucius Calum, his ancestor, the forgotten king, finally was in, was finally able to even purify the star scourge that was inside of his body that made him the immortal, de the immortal demon that he was, freeing him from his pain and agony. But also, Noctis had to give up his own life in the process as well. After such actions, ba Bahamut, the, the god of the crystal, seemed to pity the late king and decided to reincarnate him into a new world. A world where magic is still prevalent. However, the modern technology that he was once known, once known in his world, will not be present. In this world, he would be able to live the life that he always wanted, that of a normal of a normal boy, but still maintain his memories of his past life as Noctis, the memories of his loved ones, his experiences his trials, and not, and the most important thing, his power, his right, the proof of him being a king. As now, his new life is that of a boy from the Spade Kingdom, a boy with no magic whatsoever, but still holds the power of the kings dwelling inside of him and even holds a memento of his old world close to him even as an infant, unaware that it's the key to awaken his, his, form, his past memories and his power of the kings, that being the Ring of the Lucii, alongside his other adopted brother, who was left at a mere church orphanage, Asta and Yuno. As from first look at both Asta and Yuno as that of mere babies, you would think that there's no difference between them except their faces. However, both of them have that of the same pure raven black hair. As the years go on, Asta and Yuno began growing up as that of brothers. However, there were many differences between the two, the two foster brothers. You know, being a meek and quiet boy, always somewhat afraid of something. However, Asta, on the other hand, isn't as loud as obnoxious and always hyperactive. Is actually somewhat, well, lazy actually. And is constantly sleeping until noon actually. Which always gets him in trouble with both the father and sister Lily. Which the two of th oh, the two of them constantly scold him for always oversleeping, even though he does go to sleep on time with all the rest of the other children. It's just mostly he just wants to refuse to waking up at all, which some had basically designate Asta to be that of the sleepy slacker, which unfortunately Asta does do all his chores with no fuss whatsoever. It's just that he refuses waking up on time. That's it. With that, however, he has never awakened his magic yet 
due to him not having any magic at all. Well, to, in this world's type of magic, yes. However, he has another type of magic. A magic that's not familiar of this world. Far from it, given that he still has a connection to the crystal, even though he's in another dimension. With that, Asta... The Asta feels like there's something about him that just doesn't feel whole yet. Even though he's glad spending time with everyone else in the orphanage, he just doesn't feel like he's himself. Or rather, not completely himself. Until one day, when Yuno basically goes out having to do some things for the orphanage, this is also where he's basically attacked by a couple of people wanting due to him being an orphan and also planning on stealing his pendant that he's had ever since he came to the orphanage and refuses to let anyone take it. It's the main reason why he keeps getting beaten over until Asta shows up defending Yuno. With that, Yuno was surprised to see Asta here, but then the man keeps on beating Asta as he continues getting back up over and over and over again until he's knocked back down as he soon now shows that his the ring of the Lucii wrapped around his neck as he's always had it close to him. But then the man sees this and decides if he can't have Yunos, he'll just take the ring he'll just take Asta's ring. With that, Asta basically screams to him to give it back as he keeps him knocking him back. Oh, as Asta continues getting back up over and over and over again, no matter what, with a nagging feeling in his head to keep on telling him to make sure that he doesn't put on that ring. If he puts on that ring, he's going to die as he doesn't want that to happen. He refuses it to happen. As his nagging feeling just keeps getting louder and louder over and over again. Until the man basically sees this saying, seriously, kid, knock it off. If you don't, you really want this ring so badly? With soon, he's saying, well, too bad. Because it's, because us screams out, no! Before a burst of energy came, came from Asta as the man basically just gets knocked back from the, for, from the small force alone as he drops the ring and Asta grabs it. But doing so, he puts it on him instead. But this, this was the moment. This was the moment that everything changed as he began screaming in agony and pain as a light shines from the ring to on what soon both Yuno and the man who were attacking them were confused, wondering what's going on. As us, as Asta began seeing things, seeing things that seem somewhat familiar and people that are familiar as well, but he doesn't know why he knows them. He, know, he, he knows everything about them. And every time he keeps looking through these memories, he feels sadder and sadder to the point that he begins to cry, wondering why is he so sad? With then a certain person saying, that's because they're my memories. Or rather, they're your memories now. With soon, he jumps back and sees a man with the same color hair as him as he wears that of a casual attire, being that of a sleeveless jacket, a gray t-shirt, black cargo shorts, and black boots. But the only difference between them is that their hair, is that their eyes, his is, is Asta's is that of a light green, where the man in front of him is that of a piercing sky blue. With Asta, they sink who? Who are you? Would soon think, uh, I don't know how to tell basically a five-year-old this, but 
I'm basically you. With soon saying, wait, what? You can't be me. I mean, we had the same hair, but we don't look as the same. Saying, that's the thing. I'm you and you are me. Basically, you're my reincarnation. And, I, and I'm your past life, in a way. Saying, what? How? But just uh, how? As Asta, just again saying, who, who are you? Saying, you look through my memories, you should know who, you, who I am, or rather, who you once were. And then Asta looks down as the child soon looks back up, saying, Noctis Lucius Calum, the former prince of Lucis. No, I was its king, but was, I died. Within, Noctis saying, yeah, you died, we died. But we're given a second chance. So I'm going to say this once. The Ring of the Lucii just awoken our powers, the powers of the king. With this, you'll have everything that we once had, everything that our ancestors had, the royal arms, our powers to manipulate magic, the ability to absorb magic, all of it, even our combat skills and everything we've learned throughout our, throughout our journey. But in return, you will fade, and my consciousness will take over. Basically, you'll be base a prisoner in your own body. With then us saying, what? But I, I don't. I know, we both don't want that. You have a right to live your own life. I've already lived mine. But how about this? Instead of me taking over your body, how about I give you all my power and give you my memories and that and also we become one my memory you'll have you'll base you already have somewhat of my personality being that of a lazy good for nothing guy who just loves to sleep a lot as Noctis says this trying to lighten up the mood but instead but other than that you'll still be you you'll still have your own dreams You're, you'll still make your own actions uh, it's just that somewhat of my personality and somewhat of my past experiences may influence you whatever, whatever you decide just letting you know you'll also be able to see my memories and go on from there so this is your decision what will you do Asta. But then Asta takes deep breath as looking straight into his eyes. The young boy has that of a strong resolve to stand his ground. But then Noctis looks at his his new reincarnated self saying, that a boy, that, that's the spirit kid. Before reverting back to his king's king self. With the same, sh with the same beard, and sh and scraggly hair, with the same out, with the same king attire. Within saying, "The power of the kings is yours. Is yours. Rather, it is ours again. Use it for what you will. But knowing you are me, and I am you, you will do the right thing. But soon." Os Noctis begins to go into the young boy before rather seeing an older version of himself. A version of himself that stands tall, that stands strong, but with also a, ro a black robe around him with that of a strong conviction in his eyes as he wields two swords in his hands. The one on his left being that of a sword that has that of an engine as its guard. And the other being a giant pure black blade. With soon, Asta saying, 
he, I am I am him and he is me with then finally realizing and I know who I am now I am Asta the f- and I was once n- not this Lucius Caleb the king of light live now getting out of the mindset before a burst of and a burst of winds began to engulf Asta with soon you know saying but Asta doesn't have magic how's that possible but then bl- project crystallized blade weapons began to materialize and circle around Asta within the f- the young 5-year-old boy looks at the mad and soon says leave now or do you want to get hurt but soon the man saying <laughs> what the heck are you talking about kid like hell i'll within a sword soon appears in Aust- in Asta's hand within both you know and the man began getting surprised but soon Asta throws the blade right at the man as it as he soon flinches however it great it goes past him but before the entire blade goes past him asta warp strikes grabbing the sword in his hands as he soon knees the man in the face with full strength and power backing him entirely with soon the man getting no- sent flying backwards and soon landing face first on the ground skidding in the snow within the Asta lands back on the ground with that of a determined look on his face. Soon saying, you won't be touching my brother, so don't you dare. With then, you know, saying, Asta, what, what kind of magic is that? But soon, Asta looks back at his foster brother as he says, this is a magic that's beyond this world, you know. Then the two brothers head back to the orphanage. As the years go by, Izuku and Yuno begin training day in and day out. As Bo- as Yuno secretly has a dream of becoming the Wizard King, which that hasn't changed from canon. As for Asta, he doesn't really care too much about being Wizard King. Personally, he rather enjoy the life that he has now. Sure, he's not royalty, but given that he was raised like a commoner from most of his childhood, even though he was royalty and still well protected by everybody, he still knows the life of what it means to just live as a normal citizen and a normal person. But now that he doesn't have that royal title and basically a big ass target on his back like before, he just wants to live a normal life, have fun and just enjoy helping people out in in Hodge Village. That's it. Do most, but given that some people still believe that Asta is still magicless because remember the power of the kings is different from the world of Black Clover's magic magic power. So to them, Asta seems magicless, even though he's far from it. But he does show off some of the power of the kings from time to time, like from chopping up firewood by basically bringing out one of the one of his great swords. After all, from time to time. Not only that, if in case in case they need help, he's even able to absorb a little bit of magic and incorp- incorporate it into his own fighting style. Not only that, plus he's not restricted to just that of. Well, fire, lightning, and ice magic, like before. In this, in this one, he's able to absorb all types of magic, but he has a limit on how much he can absorb into his body, just like before. So that hasn't been changed. He can absorb Yuno's wind if he wants to, but given that, well, Yuno is like a bottomless pit of wind magic, eh, let's just say... Asta still has his work cut out for him against Yuno. But 
due to uh, due to Noctis's years of experience in combat, training, and fight, and years of fighting, he's able to. He could still beat Yuno without even trying. If I'm gonna be honest. Also, you might be wondering if Asta still has a crush on Sister Lily. Well, let's just say he does have a crush on Sister Lily, but that's what it is. Nothing but a crush. He's not blindingly in love with Sister Lily like he is in canon. In this, he had a crush on her, and he's now grown out of it, as the 15-year-old he is now. So yeah, nothing to worry about there. But he's still pretty, well, lazy when he comes to sleeping after all, and constantly sleeps all the time, to be honest. But he still works hard and trains hard, day in and day out, just to protect others. With soon, everybody begins ready to go and get their grimoires, mostly Yuno and Asta, as everybody in the village begins heading out to the cent to the hall to get their grimoires. As for Asta, he doesn't really care about getting his grimoire or not. He could care less about that. He's just going because he just wants to and because he's bored out of his mind after all. With now, it's time for the ceremony to finally get their grimoires as tons of, of magic books it all file together with now each one begins flying from a person to person, with the majority of them being that of three leaf clover grimoires. With soon, a one begins shining bright, almost like it's pure. It's made out of pure gold in a way. With it heading to, you know, as it being that of a four leaf clover grimoire, as everybody is awestruck in awe. With soon, Asta is the only one who doesn't have his grimoire, but he wasn't even, he already knew that he wasn't going to get his grimoire whatsoever. So he's not really broken up too much about it. As for, you know, he soon says, this is my proof. The proof that says, I'm going to become the Wizard King and I'm going to make that dream a reality. But soon, Everybody was shocked within Asta walking up to his foster brother saying, well done, I, you know, I guess it proves it. With soon Asta basically patting his brother on the shoulder. And also Asta is like a little bit taller in this one. He's not the same, well, 5'1 that he is in canon, basically the strength that he is. He's at now at least, well, 5'5 five, five, actually. So the same height as Deku, if I'm gonna be honest, and only one inch shorter than Yuno. So yeah, quite the improvement. With soon Yuno looking at his foster brother saying, Asta, but you don't have, I'll be fine, I'll be fine. I was never planning on becoming a magic knight or anything. Hell, I don't even wanna be Wizard King. With soon Yuno's eyes began whining as he realized that he always thought that Asta planned on becoming a w magic knight and soon becoming a wizard king just like him. With his, ma with his powers alone, he could have rivaled them. But yet, he doesn't want to? Say with, and saying, what are you talking about? Even if you don't have a grimoire, you still, you need a grimoire to become a magic knight, Asta, you know. And I don't have one. Besides, I just, I'll stay here and in a Hodge village looking after Sister Lily, the kids, and the father, of course. So you got nothing to worry about. I'll always look over things down here while you become the world-renowned Wizard King of the Clover Kingdom. As he places his hand on his brother's shoulder and soon lays off, heading back to the orphanage. But soon, everybody being talking. <laughs> Seriously? What is that kid thinking? <laughs> Asta. I mean, he's... I mean, we know that he doesn't have any magic, but for some reason, he shows that he does. With a few of them say, but seriously, you know, having a, a four-leaf clover grimoire, he must be really special if he does. With soon, a couple of figures began looking at, you know, with soon, Asta continues walking before 
he stops, feeling an uneasy pressure around them. As every time he's around the hall, where everyone has to grim get their grimoires, he always feels a negative, dark pressure. And it's always constantly annoying the hell out of him. Since saying, normally this pressure is what I feel when I feel like an enemy is close by. Mostly being that of demons. And if I last recall, this world shouldn't have demons. And yet, I have this uneasy feeling. As he gets hit as soon, he begins hearing people leaving. As he soon wants to go off on his own as well. Doesn't want to basically be pitied by everybody. As he already had those eyes already. With soon, you know, being the only one coming out. As then, a s two people begin saying, Hey kid, why don't you give up the grimoire? And hand it over with soon, you know, saying, what? Why should I? With then saying, a commoner like you shouldn't even have something like that. It should belong to a noble who can put, who can use it right. With then, you know, saying, how about no? With then, one of them tried using their flame magic to, however, you know, uses his wind magic to deflect it. Like it was nothing, with both of them being quite surprised before chains began to erupt all over the building, wrapping around, you know, with then saying, Well, ain't this surprising? I didn't think a brat like you could have a four leaf clover grimoire. With soon, you know, saying, Who the hell are you? With then saying, You know, I'm surprised you don't know me, but I guess I shouldn't be surprised given this place is all out in the sticks after all. I used to be a well-known magic knight back in my day, given my chain magic after all. The name is Ravich. You know, it's true that grimoires do choose their wielders, but if a grimoire is taken and then and forward with mana from another user, they're willing to obey. So, I think I'll be taking this off your hands. As he soon uses his chain to take Yuno's grimoire, with Yuno being unable to do anything, before, so, without noticing, a gust of wind soon, uh, soon was sent flying at the two of them, as then the chain holding Yuno's grimoire was cut, with then saying, What the? Who? Who cut my... Chains! As soon a sword was soon sent flying into the ground before a person just appeared out of that a pure light as it being Asta. But soon Asta grabbing the sword out of the ground before using it, before using it to cut the chains wrapped around you know. But then saying you know you know Every time, it feels like I'm the one constantly saving you, bro. So I think you should start owing me for stuff like this. But soon, you know, saying, like that's gonna happen, shrimp. But soon, Asta getting annoyed, saying, I'm only one inch shorter than you. Get over yourself, pretty boy. With, you know, saying quiet to himself, you're one to talk, Asta. With soon saying, hey, brat, get out of my way and give me that grimoire saying, yeah, no, this belongs to my bro. So I think that's not gonna happen. So how about you basically take your, well, annoying ass somewhere somewhere else? Because my, you know, is going to become a magic knight. And you, weren't you saying that you were a magic knight? I guess you weren't something special if you were basically let go from, from them after all. I guess that makes you nothing but a chump. Within hearing this, he, Rius gets pissed, saying, You're dead, brat. But then, you, Asta switching out from his sword, switching to one of his royal arms, as it being that of the shield of the just. But then, guarding both himself and, you know, from the chains, as it does push Asta back a little bit, but not enough to completely knock him out. But soon, 
the chains wrap around the shield of the just as it as soon saying ha 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 I like that brat you what are you gonna do now without your little magic weapon what then soon us saying yeah about that as Asta disappears in a blink and that's of light what then Fretchy was wondering what the hell happened to him what then soon Asta is on top is in the air holding the shield of the just as he soon brings it back he also brings Ripchi up to him into the air with then dis basically removing the shield of the just from the air as the ch as the chain soon disbark as he wonders what the hell with then uh, Asta was about to prepare a punch before something came out one of the towers actually as it being that of a black book a black grimoire which people could barely even see and wonder what it is however Asta could see what it was as he could see that it wasn't a three-leaf clover or a four-leaf one it was a five-leaf one and it's the very thing that's been giving him a bad feeling Every time he was around here, with soon the book opens as the pages flip out, he soon sees that of a hilt and a guard coming out of the book's pages. As for some reason, part of him doesn't want to touch it, that being the not that being the noctis of him, but the Asta in him wants it for some reason, as it feels like it's calling to him. Before, he, before, without realizing it, he grabs the sword. And then, in a blink of an eye, knocks Ryuchi back to the ground. As in Asta's hands, being that of a giant black blade. But soon realizing this. This is it. I saw this before. With then... Landing back on the ground with Yuno saying, Asta, I can't believe it. As he also sees a grimoire floating right beside Asta as well. As he holds the demon slayer sword in his right hand. Then putting it on his shoulders saying, Yo, Yuno, I'm not all gung-ho about becoming Wizard King like you are. So I'm going to say this. I'm actually going to become a magic knight. Hopefully, we end up on the same squad. What soon? Uh, you know, saying, but you said, I said I was going to look after Hodge Village. If I basically become a magic knight and send money back to the orphanage, I think I'm basically doing the same thing. It's just in a different way. So, yeah. I guess we're both going to the capital for the magic knight exam. With then, you know, saying, you're just so nonchalant about it. With soon saying, and you're not? <laughs> Seriously, you said it that you plan on becoming the Wizard King in the most deadpan voice. <laughs> I mean, you and you say that I'm nonchalant? Get real, dude. With then, putting the Demon Slayer sword back into the grimoire before grabbing it. Then walking over to his foster brother, placing a, fi placing a fist in front of him, saying, You and I will always look after each other. It's a promise, right? After all, we're brothers. But soon, you know, saying, Yeah, we're brothers. And even though, we're n even though you don't want to become Wizard King, and I do, there's one thing I do want more than anything than becoming Wizard King. What soon, Asa saying, what's that? What then, you know, showing a smile in, in such a long time after the years of them being kids. And that is to defeat you, Asta. It's the one thing I want the most than becoming Wizard King. What soon, Asa says, eyes being whining, before giving off that of a cheeky smirk, with soon saying, <laughs> Well then, you better get stronger, you know, if you ever want to beat me.
before the two give each other a fist bump. And that's it. Thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. Please tell me what you guys think in the comments below. I would love to read them. And also, for those who didn't watch my update video for this year, you also, but for those who do know, then you must know that I plan on taking a break this entire month. So I won't be uploading whatsoever on this channel. Not until January comes to an end. I'm sorry, but I need this time to basically take a break from my YouTube channel. But, however, I still will be doing some co YouTube content on my newest channel, being Leon Side Stories, where I'll be basically making, well, fanfic stories to improve on my writing style and storytelling, and also be hitting up one What If One Shots that my Discord patrons have basically gave ideas for me for. So look forward to that this year. But until then, this channel will be basically quiet for the entire month. Just letting you guys know. So with all that said, please like and subscribe and hit that bell notification as well. And with all, also check out my Discord, my gaming, and my new Patreon as well. With all that said, this is Leon Muki signing out. Later guys, and I hope to see you again next time. Shiro Kitsune, finish it off, girl. Hi, everyone. This is White Fox. If you liked Leon's video, click the video on the left to see the most recent one. And if you want to see more of this, click the subscribe button and notification bell and check out his playlist. If you still haven't subscribed, do so in the center. With that said, I hope to see you again on my love's channel. Bye!